Welcome to the Abs Diet Workout. I'm Tom Holland. The Abs Diet Workout is a revolutionary new exercise plan based on the book The Abs Diet by David Zinzenko, Editor-in-Chief of Men's Health Magazine. The Abs Diet program is quite simply the smartest, fastest, and most effective way to truly change your body and sculpt those abs once and for all. The program is comprised of three parts, a diet plan, an ab routine, and a circuit training workout. The diet strategy is a scientifically based eating plan that teaches you how to feed your body, not starve it, yet still lose weight. It revolves around 12 power foods that help fight fat by boosting your body's metabolism. By constantly keeping your body's natural calorie burning fire stoked, three meals and three snacks a day, you'll soon be burning more calories 24 seven. For comprehensive information on the total eating plan, be sure to pick up the abs diet book. Now let me share with you how the abs diet workout works. As an exercise physiologist and nationally certified personal trainer, I know how important a good workout plan is to any fitness program. First, the warm up. Short and sweet, but an important part of our routine. The goal here is not to go from zero to 60, but to get your body prepared for the exercises. Next, the five minute ab workout. In this workout, we target all five major areas, including the upper abs, lower abs, obliques, transverse abdominis, and lower back. To make the system progressive, we have created three individual five-minute workouts, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. I recommend you begin with the beginner routine and then move to the next levels as you feel stronger and ready to intensify your workout. After you complete your five minutes of abs, time to move on to total body circuit training. This 10-minute cutting-edge workout will burn calories as well as sculpt your entire body. Better yet, it revs up your metabolism so your body continues to burn fat long after you've finished working out. This routine requires dumbbells. Choose the appropriate weight depending on your fitness level. A good way to gauge proper weight is that by the last rep, you should be feeling definite muscle fatigue. As with the ab workout, we've created multi-levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. I recommend you start with the beginner level and work your way up as you progress with the abs diet workout. I suggest you begin by doing the circuit twice in a row. When you get stronger, then you can go for three times. We'll end with a power stretch to enhance mobility and flexibility. For optimum results, this workout is to be performed three times a week with 48 hours rest in between to allow your body to recover and rebuild. So what did you expect from the abs diet program? As you combine the new eating plan and workout, in three to four weeks, you will notice significant changes in your shape. In weeks five and six, your upper body will be more toned and your waist and other problem areas will be shrinking as well. And best of all, depending on your starting point, this is when you will finally begin to see those abs. So if you're ready, let's get started. Are you ready to work out? I'm here with my friends, the lovely Tanya. Hi. And the beautiful Madison. Hello. And we're gonna take you through the cardio warm up. So nice and easy, we're gonna begin by running in place in three, two, one, and let's go. Excellent, nice and light on those toes. We're just getting warmed up. We're gonna do 30 seconds here. We're gonna do 30 seconds of a modified jumping jack and 30 seconds of fake jump rope and then we'll do it all again for three minutes. Woo, excellent. Nice and light on those toes, deep breaths. Always wanna begin your routine with this warm up. It's really important, don't skip it. All right, we're gonna switch to modified jumping jacks in three, two, one, and let's go. Great, keep those elbows in nice and close to the head. Not too hard, just getting warmed up. Deep breaths. How do you feel, Madison? You warmed up? My heart is pumping. All right, Tanya. It's going great. It's going great, good. We're gonna switch to that fake jump rope. You can kind of make this your own. We're gonna bring those hands down to our hips. And we're gonna go side to side with those feet for 30 seconds in three, two, one, and side to side. Good job. Whew. So you can keep those hands nice and close like Tanya is. Or you can do nice and big with those hands like Madison. Goal is just to get warmed up. Nice deep breaths. Whew. We're gonna target our total body today. We're gonna get that six pack of abs. So you can look just like these lovely ladies behind me. It's also great for the men out there. Nice deep breaths. We're gonna go back to that running in place one last time in three, two, one, and let's go. Running in place. Nice and easy, beautiful. 
Woo. You sweating yet, Tanya? Oh, sweating a lot. All right, good. <laughs> That's a good sign. A couple more seconds here, and we'll do those modified jump jacks one last time. Nice deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Modified jumping jacks in three, two, one, and let's go. Great. Nice and light on those toes. If you want to go a little bit bigger with the arms, you can here. Start to feel that body, that blood really flowing. You having fun? Yeah. Woo. My calves are burning. My calves are burning. All right, Max. Almost finished. We're going to do 30 more seconds of fake jump rope. Then we'll be warmed up, ready to target those abs. Again, you're gonna drop those hands to your hips. You're gonna move those legs side to side. In three, two, one, let's go. Excellent job. Nice deep breaths. Really feel it now, feel that blood through the entire body. A little bit of sweat forming. Excellent job. Almost finished and ready to really take it up a notch. Deep breaths, side to side. All right, let's take those arms out and start just marching place. And now pick an ab workout and let's hit those abs. So let's work those abs. We begin by doing traditional crunches, targeting our upper abs. Let's turn sideways, keeping those knees bent, you're gonna slowly lower yourself down to the ground one vertebra at a time. Bring those fingertips behind your head. I'm gonna demonstrate first. You're gonna gently lift that chin to the ceiling and then come back down, real simple. 12 repetitions. Ready and lift. So chin to the ceiling and down. Keeping that chin off your chest, pulling from your abdominals. Don't pull on the head, just fingertips lightly. Touching the back of your head, good. Keep those abs real tight. Excellent. Three more. Remember to breathe. One more. Excellent. Lower the head. We reset between each exercise. Bring those knees in. Take a nice deep breath. And exhale. We move on to bent leg knee raises. I want you to bring those hands underneath your small of your back. Bring those feet together. You're going to drop. I'm going to demonstrate first. You're going to drop those heels and then bring them back up. Ready, and let's go. So drop and lift. We're targeting our lower abs now. Anytime you bring up those legs, you engage your lower abs. Everyone wants lower abs, don't we, ladies? All right. Tap those heels and lift. Keep those abs nice and tight. Good. Even here, relax that neck. Give me two more. And one more good one. Excellent. Grab those knees one more time. Deep breath. Hug them. We go to our obliques, the sides of our abs. Bring those legs up 90 degrees. Press that lower back to the floor. Now bring those fingertips behind your head. I'm going to demonstrate first. You're going to bring that opposite elbow to the opposite knee, and then you're going to switch sides. Ready and lift. We do 12. And twist. Keep those abs tight. We're going to work the total abdominal region, not just regular crunches, and we're also Gonna do our lower back, really important. You want that six pack? You gotta work the total abdominal region. Remember to breathe, I'll constantly remind you of that. Don't pull on that neck, just twist. You should start to feel it. You feel it, ladies, Madison? All right, twist. Four more. This will be three, so twist. Good, two more, we're almost there. Feel those obliques burning. One more each side. Excellent. And drop the head, hug those knees, take a nice deep breath. And we move on to our transverse abdominus, a muscle that runs along parallel to our belt line. So slowly I need you to roll up and then gently spin around. Now I'm gonna demonstrate first. We're gonna come onto our forearms. Let me demonstrate. You're gonna pop up and just hold for 30 seconds. So if you're ready, Let's go, lift up and hold, 30 seconds, perfectly straight line from your feet all the way up through your shoulders. Remember to breathe, relax your neck even here. If you need to take breaks, drop down your knees, then when you're ready, come back up. Excellent, good. 
and hold. Nice deep breaths. Don't let those hips sink. Good, five seconds, almost there. Perfect, push back onto those calves. Take another deep breath. We finish up by working our back. Can't focus only on the front of our abs. We need to do those back muscles as well. So come back forward onto our stomachs. Good, bring those arms next to your hips. Palms face the ceiling. I'm gonna demonstrate first back extensions. You're gonna lift on a two count and lower on a two count. We'll do 12, ready and lift. So lift and squeeze, then down. Lift, we're working our spinal erector muscles. Those are the muscles that run alongside your spine. Pretty simple, lift, really important though. They start at your belt line, they go all the way up through to your neck, and they help with your posture, and they're gonna help make those abs look great. Lift, good. Couple more, good, down. Up, good, we have five more. You should really feel it right above that belt line. Really simple exercise, but really important. So keep that back healthy and keep your core really strong. One more good one. Excellent job. Push back onto those calves. Nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, good. Come back forward. Let's spin around back where we started from. Excellent job. Now we move on to our circuit training. For the circuit training workout, we will be using dumbbells. Please choose weights where the last few repetitions are difficult without your losing form. We're gonna begin with lower body, doing some regular squats, targeting our glutes. We're gonna start with a nice wide stance. Toes are forward, I'm gonna demonstrate one first. You're gonna come down slowly to about 90 degrees. Then you're gonna come back up, 12 repetitions. Ready, ladies? Let's, let's do, it. do it. All right, let's go. So down and up, keeping those knees behind the toes, really important, keeping my chest up. Remembering to breathe, and I'm using my hands for balance. It's gonna help. Deep breaths, focusing on those glutes, sitting back into them. Right like you're sitting back in a chair. We have three more. Last two. Perfect, one more. We're gonna stretch those glutes. I want you to bring one foot forward, cross the heel onto the toe, and then just lean back slightly, stretching through that glute. Nice, gentle stretch. You don't wanna push the stretch, just enough that you feel a gentle, Hug on that muscle. We're gonna do both sides. Excellent, and let's switch. Cross the other leg over, gently lean back and hold. Really important is to stretch that muscle after we work it, we just shortened it. Now we're gonna lengthen it a little bit, preventing injury. Nice deep breath. We're gonna move on to our quadriceps. Stationary lunge, so take one leg forward, bring one leg back, hands go on the hips. I'll demonstrate one first. You're just gonna come down, come right back up, working our front leg. Ready, and let's drop. So down and up. You wanna sculpt those legs. These are the exercises. You wanna look great in those bikinis. The mini skirts. <laughs> those huh? mini skirts, exactly, <laughs> Madison. Down and up. These are the ones you wanna do. Most of my weight is on that front leg. And up, keeping that knee behind the toe. Last two. One more, then we're gonna switch sides. Great job. Other leg comes forward, other leg back. Ooh, Hands on the hips, <laughs> feel that one. I felt it. And drop. 12 on this leg. Down, up. Take your time, keep that tension on the muscle the whole time. Again, we're working our quadriceps. Four muscles that run across the front of that thigh and up. Good, four more. Down, keeping that weight on the front leg. Good, give me last one, and let's stretch those quads. If you wanna keep a chair nearby, you can do so, because we're gonna balance here if we can, and just pull up on a toe, stretching that quadricep. You can lean on a door, on a wall. Just make sure you get a nice, gentle stretch. Bend that supporting leg a little bit. And let's switch sides. If you bring that arm out, that'll help your balance a little bit. Great job. Just hold, again, I'm stretching right through the front here. We have one more lower body exercise, and that's plie squats. Just gonna target our hamstrings. So a little bit wider stance, open our toes. Let me demonstrate one first, just like the regular squat, we come down and back up. Let's begin, so down and up. You want a great look at 
lower body. These are the three exercises. And up. Really feeling it in those hamstrings. We're working our total leg here. A couple more working our hamstrings, the back of our legs. Last two, keeping that chest up one more. Great job, let's stretch those hamstrings. We do that by bringing one leg forward, pressing our heel into the ground, gently leaning forward on the quadricep and stretching through the back of that leg. Great job, gentle stretch again, not too much. It shouldn't be painful. Nice deep breath. Excellent, and let's switch it the other side. Gently lean down behind that leg. Excellent. Working on flexibility as well as strength. It's the great thing about this circuit training routine. You're getting everything. We're gonna move on to our upper body, doing some bent knee push-ups. So be careful. We're going down to the mat. Take your time. Bend those knees. Gently roll down. Bring those hands out. I'm gonna demonstrate one first. You're gonna drop those hips. And then you're gonna bend those elbows. Coming back up. 10 repetitions. Ready and let's go. So down and up. Perfect. On that beat, working our chest. You're also working your shoulders and triceps at the same time. Remember to breathe. Don't hold that breath. Last two. Perfect, ladies. One more. Great. We gotta stretch that chest. Let's push back onto our calves and then roll right back. Under those heels, great. Open those hands and just let gravity pull your hands down. You're gonna feel that stretch across your chest. And take a deep breath. From here, we work the opposite muscle group, which is gonna be our back. I'm gonna do some dumbbell rows. So be careful, let's come forward onto all fours and then roll up. Now be careful picking up your dumbbells. Bend from the knees and use those legs to get back up. Now for this, we're gonna start by bending at the waist, then bending our knees slightly. Let me demonstrate one first. I'm gonna keep those palms facing together. I'm gonna pull up to my shoulders. I'm gonna come back down. Are you ready? Ready. ready? ready, and let's go working that back. You want a great looking back. Keep that curve in your lower back, really important. This is one of the hardest exercises to do correctly. Squeeze, good. Pulling up, shoulder blades together. Good, give me three more. Squeeze, you feel those? Good, one more, excellent. Be careful placing those weights back down. Now we stretch the back. To do this, I want you to pull an elbow behind the head and gently pull, feeling that stretch through those back muscles, your lats, and just hold it. Nice deep breaths, rest. This rest gives us time to recover and switch sides so we can push the next exercise. We're gonna do five exercises for our upper body. We're gonna move on to shoulders, doing some overhead shoulder presses. Excellent, good stretch. And back down, be careful picking up those weights. Back up, same staggered stance. You're gonna bring up those elbows, hold it here. I'm gonna demonstrate first. You're gonna come up over your head and back down. Ready and begin, so press and down. Working those shoulders. Don't go down any lower than 90 degrees. That's cheating. You won't get the results you want. Press, good. All the way up. Press, good. You're getting the front and the middle of your shoulders here. Give me two more. And then we're gonna stretch those shoulders. Excellent, bend those knees. Be careful placing those weights back down. Let's stretch those arms. Bring one arm across and gently pull. Feeling that stretch. Feel that stretch? Uh -huh. Yes. Good. Excellent job, ladies. Nice deep breath again. To get a great looking body, you have to work, let's switch sides. You have to work that total body. You can't spot reduce. That's why you want to do total body circuit training. Gentle stretch and pull. Excellent. We go from shoulders to our biceps. So let's go back down, gently pick up those weights, bend from the knees, back up. Now I want you to tuck those elbows in. I'm gonna demonstrate one first. You're gonna curl that weight up to your shoulders and slowly lower back down. So ready and lift, squeeze up and down. Don't lose the down phase either. Both ways, controlling that weight, 
squeezing, engaging that bicep. That's the front of your arm. Good. Squeeze. Excellent. Give me three more. Really feel it. Last one. Great. Let's bend those knees, place those weights down, and stretch those biceps. To do this, I want you to place one hand on top of the other and gently push up with that bottom arm. You're going to feel that stretch across, yes, that bicep muscle. The one we just worked. Gentle stretch. Don't push too hard. Deep breath. We have one exercise left. We work the bicep. Now switch it. Flip those palms over. Press up. Opposite muscle for our bicep is our tricep. This is Tanya's favorite exercise, isn't it, Tanya? Yes, it is. Yes, we're going to go <laughs> to tricep kickbacks. So we can sculpt those arms. Excellent job. Bend down. Let's grab those weights for our last exercise. Our upper body is going to be the same exact body position as the road. So I want you to bend at the waist, bend the knees, keep that curve in your lower back. But now I want you to bring up those arms so the upper arms are parallel to the ground. Let me demonstrate one. You're going to squeeze up, right down. Very simple. Ready, and let's go. Squeeze up. We'll do 12. Control that weight. Don't move those upper arms. And really press at the top. Look at that How those feel? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. One of the best ways to sculpt those arms. Squeeze. Great. We have four more. Press it up. You're fighting gravity. Give me two more. Excellent. Last one. And we're going to stretch them. Place those weights down. Same stretch position as we did for the back. But now this time, I want you to pull and focus on the tricep. That muscle you just worked, you should feel it as you tug that elbow gently towards your head. Excellent. And switch sides. And one deep breath, and excellent. Great job. Are you ready to take it up a notch? We begin with raised feet crunches, targeting our upper abs. So let's turn sideways, keeping those knees bent. I want you to slowly lower yourself down to the floor, one vertebra at a time. Then bring those fingertips behind the head. For this, I want you to raise those legs just about 45 degrees. That's going to put a little additional tension on our abdominals. Let me demonstrate first. You're going to lift to the ceiling, then lower back down. 12 reps. Ready and lift. So up and down. Give me 12 of these. Same things to remember. Keep your chin off your chest. Really keep those abs tight. Don't pull on that neck. Excellent. And just keep those abs as tight as you can, but you're breathing. Good. Two more. And last one. Excellent. Drop the head. Hug those knees. Take a nice deep breath. Excellent job. We move on to raise knees. I want you to bring those hands underneath the small of your back and just keep those legs 90 degrees. Now I'm going to demonstrate first. You're going to reach and pull, reach and pull. We'll do six of these. So ready and reach. Reach and pull. Good. The further that foot is away from the body, the more we bring in those lower abs. Everyone wants those lower abs. These will help you get them. Good. Give me three more. Halfway there. Really squeeze when you bring that knee back. Keep those abs flat. Give me one more good one on each side. Excellent. And bring those knees in. Bring those hands out and just hug them. Take a nice deep breath. Excellent. We move on to our obliques, the sides of our abs. For this, bring those hands back underneath the small of your back. We're going to do the corkscrew. Not easy, but this is intermediate. Bring those legs up. Bend them slightly. I'm going to demonstrate first. You're going to press that feet up to the ceiling, twisting to the left. And then you're going to press up and twist to the right. We're going to do that eight times if you're ready. Ready and lift. So press down, then twist. We're going to do seven more. The higher you reach, the more you twist, the more you're going to feel those obliques work. Really press and twist. Good. Halfway there. You can do it. How do, how do you feel, ladies? All right. Good. You're supposed to work. That's how you get that six pack. Almost finished. Give me one more good one each side. Press, 
other way, and good. Drop those hips, hug those knees, take a nice deep breath. We move on to our transverse abdominis again, that muscle that runs along our belt line. I need you to roll up slowly. We're gonna do a side bridge. Let's spin around on our side. I'm gonna demonstrate first, so just begin by relaxing down on your hip. You're gonna bring that forearm underneath your body, elbow underneath the shoulder. I'm gonna demonstrate first. You're just gonna bring yourself up and hold for 15 seconds. So if you're ready, let's go. Lift and hold, 15 seconds. Working that transverse abdominus, perfectly straight line. Hold, not easy. That's why it's intermediate. Excellent, almost there. Very good. Drop back down. We have to work the other side, so let's just spin around. Bring that other arm underneath your body. Stack the arm on the hip. Let's lift. 15 seconds, up and hold. Again, working the transverse abdominus. It runs right there. Stack those feet. Hold. Nice and tight. And breathe. Excellent. And drop back down. Let's drop back onto our back real quickly. Take a nice deep breath. Hug those knees. And we finish up with our back. Let's roll back up. Spin around. Back onto our stomach. And we're going to finish with the swim. So I want you to bring those hands out in front of you. I'm going to demonstrate first. You're going to lift your opposite arm and your opposite leg. And then you're going to switch. Ten repetitions. Ready and lift. So you can rest your head down. Or you can keep your head raised. I just want you to really feel it on each side of the lower back. You're working one side of the spinal erectors, and then you're working the other side as you switch. Remember to breathe. Good. Good. All right. Excellent. Really squeeze those lower back muscles. You're going to feel it right above that belt line. Good. Give me one more on each side. Excellent. Other side. Perfect. Push back onto those calves. Take a nice deep breath. Then spin back around to where we started on those glutes. You have finished. Now let's move on to total body circuit training. Are you ready to take it up a notch? Now we're gonna utilize dumbbells for the lower body exercises to make it even harder. We're also gonna change the upper body routine to make that even more effective. So let's start by getting our dumbbells. We're gonna perform regular squats, but this time we're gonna hold our dumbbells. So nice and wide, I'm gonna do one first. You're gonna bend down, then up. Ready and begin, same thing, down and up. But the weights are gonna make it a little more difficult. We're really gonna feel it in those glutes. That's the muscle we're working. Feel it in the glutes, Madison? All over. All right. Tanya? Oh, yeah. Good. Keep that chest up. Knees behind the toes. Excellent. Last two. One more. Perfect. Let's place those weights down and stretch those glutes. This time, we're going to balance. So if you can, cross one leg over and then gently sit back. If you need to, again, you can keep a chair nearby, hold on to a wall, but just stretch that glute. Push back. Excellent. And the other side. Again, we're going to modify these lower body exercises, making them a little more difficult. Really toning that lower body in the process. Great job. And now we move on to stationary lunges. Again, we're going to use dumbbells this time. So one leg forward, one back. Let me demonstrate first. Chest stays up. You come down, you go up. Ready and begin. Let's go. Down and up. We're working the quadriceps. We're working that front leg. Stay on that beat. Keep that knee behind your toe. Keep that chest up. Working those four quadricep muscles, the front of the leg. Excellent. You want to sculpt those legs again. These are the exercises to do it. Last two. One more. Great. Let's switch sides. Bring the other leg forward. Other leg back. Keep that chest up and drop down. 12 reps. Really feel it in those legs. Toning those lower body muscles. Focusing on the quadriceps here. Uh, squeeze down. Keep that knee behind the toe. Remember to breathe. And three more. Perfect. Three, 
two, one more. We're going to stretch those quads. Beautiful. Let's place those weights down. And again, we're going to stretch the quadriceps by bringing one leg out, one hand out, pull up on a toe, bend the supporting leg, and then just hold, stretching through the front here. Nice and gentle. You don't want to push the stretch again. Just gently feel it. Switch sides. Try to balance. Bend the supporting leg and hold. And we're going to finish up with our plie squats, working our hamstrings. But we're going to utilize dumbbells, make it that much more difficult. Beautiful. Let's grab those dumbbells, ladies. Let me demonstrate again first. Same wide stance, toes open. Let me demonstrate one. You're going to go down and up. Ready, and let's go. Working those hamstrings. Feeling it in those legs. So you can wear those bikinis, those mini skirts. <laughs> With the pump. Excellent, exactly. Keep that chest up. You're going to have a tendency to want to drop the upper body with the weight. That's part of the difficulty. You got to pay attention to that form. Last two. Excellent. One more. And let's stretch those hamstrings. Gently place those weights down again. And bring one heel forward and gently lean into it. Place the fingertips on that front of the thigh, the quadricep muscle. Great. You're feeling that stretch right behind. You have three muscles back there in the hamstrings. Four muscles up front here. You want to work both sides. Great job. Switch. Lean forward. Again, by working both sides of that leg, not only going to tone that body, you're going to prevent injury. Really important. Gentle stretch behind that leg. And next, we're going to move on to our upper body with some real push ups. You ready, ladies? Ready to go. We're ready. Right. Slowly down to the mat. I'll demonstrate one first a traditional push up. You wait there, I'm gonna come up, you're gonna come down and up. Let's pop up and let's go. Down, 10 reps. Slowly on that beat. Not easy. Uh, Not excellent. Good job. <laughs> go Beautiful. Look at these ladies, look at how strong they are. Give me three more good ones working that chest. Last one, perfect form. And let's stretch that back. Drop to the knees, roll back onto those heels. And then just open those arms, let them gently fall down to the ground. You're going to feel a nice stretch across your chest. Get a nice deep breath. Excellent. Next, we're going to work the opposite muscle group, which is our back. We're going to do some bent arm dumbbell rows. Excellent. So be careful, rolling up, press up, grab those dumbbells. Again, we're going to work our back. Let's bend at the waist, bend those knees, bring those hands forward. Palms face behind. I'm going to demonstrate first. Bring those elbows up towards the ceiling. Arms are bent. Then back down. 12 reps. Ready and lift. Squeeze up. This is more difficult because the weights are further away from our body. Keep good form. Nice and smooth motion. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Then down. Squeeze. Excellent work in the back. Perfect. Really squeeze those arms up to the ceiling and down. One more. Great. Place them down. Let's stretch those back muscles. Elbow behind the head. Gently pull on that elbow. You're going to feel a stretch through your back, through those lats. Or latissimus dorsi, which is the fancy name for your back. Excellent. Switch sides. That was our back. We transition now into our arms. We're gonna do some side raises. Nice deep breath. And exhale. Excellent, let's grab those weights. Bend down, use those legs to stand back up. Staggered stance, bend those knees. Now bend those arms a little bit. We're gonna do side raises. I'm gonna demonstrate. You're gonna come up, then down, just up to your shoulder height. You ready? Ready? Ready, and let's go. Sculpting those arms and down. You're working the front and side of those shoulders. Perfect. You really want to have great looking arms. These next three exercises are the ones to do it. Perfect. Great. Give me four more. Oh. Really try to hold it out there. Feel that burn. Woo. It's burning. Great. You feel that burn, Madison? Yes, I do. Good. Excellent. Let's place those weights down. Let's stretch those shoulders. Bring one arm across. And just pull. Feel that stretch. We 
just work the shoulders. We have two more muscle groups to work to really make those arms look great. Next, we're gonna go to our biceps and switch sides, pull that other arm across. Again, you cannot spot reduce. You wanna work your entire body. That's how you get a great looking body. Nice deep breath. And we move on to our biceps. We're gonna do hammer bicep curls this time. A little bit different, a little bit more difficult. Let's grab those weights again. Stand up. Now keep those palms facing your legs. I'm gonna demonstrate. You're gonna curl up with those palms facing together. And you're gonna lower them back down slowly. 12 reps. Let's go, ready and up. Squeeze up to the shoulders. Now we're working the forearms. You're gonna feel it in the forearms a little bit more now. Again, variation is key to changing your body. If you keep doing the same exercises, expecting the same results, it's not gonna happen. You have to switch it up, squeeze. So you have three circuits here. Give me last one. Excellent, let's stretch those biceps, place those weights down. Palm to palm. Press up on that bottom palm into the top hand, stretching through your bicep. Excellent. Gentle stretch, front of the arm. Deep breath. Again, stretching is really important. Let's flip the hands, pressing up. Resistance training shortens the muscle. You need to stretch it. A lot of injuries come as a result of doing resistance training and not stretching. So this circuit training workout is perfect. We're getting everything. All right, we finish up with triceps one more time. Let's pick up those weights. We're gonna do tricep press-ups. Bend at the hips, just like dumbbell rows. But now let's bring those arms straight back and I'm gonna demonstrate. You're gonna press up to the ceiling, then lower back down. Ready and up, last 12. Squeeze down, really press up, feeling to the back of those arms. Great job. Relax the neck. Press up, feel it in those triceps, squeeze. Great, almost there. How do you like these, Madison? I love them. Love them. Tanya? This is my favorite. This is your favorite, exactly. Look at those arms. One more, great. Let's place them down. One more stretch. Bring that arm back behind the head. Gently pull on that elbow. Now you're gonna feel the stretch through your tricep. I want you to focus the stretch there. Good, nice deep breath. Really feel that stretch. Great job, okay, now let's bring it up. Bring it over to the other side, really stretch. Let's finish these stretches. You just worked that complete body from head to toe. And back down. Great job. For the maximum challenge, let's get to it. Let's turn sideways. We're gonna do toe touches, targeting our upper abs. We begin again by slowly lowering ourselves down to the ground, one vertebra at a time. Now let's bring those legs up in the air. Slight bend in the knees. Let's hold here with our arms up, our fingertips pointed. I'm gonna demonstrate first. You're just gonna reach, then come back down. Ready and lift. We'll do 12 and down. Relax your neck. Bringing those feet up makes it harder. Bringing those arms up makes it a little harder as we reach. Keep those abs real tight. Reach up as high as you can. Bring those shoulder blades up off the ground. Good. Three more. Give me one more real good one. Reach and roll down. Hug those knees, deep breath. We move on to our lower abs. We're gonna do bent knee pull-ins. I want you to bring those shoulder blades up. Bring those legs up 90 degrees. Then just lower those arms. Keep them a couple inches off the ground. Palms face the ceiling. I'm gonna demonstrate first. We're going to just reach, then pull. 12 reps. Ready and reach and pull. Great, keep that lower back. Press firmly down to the mat. That's really important. You gotta protect that lower back. Reach, relax your neck. Good. Really hitting those lower abs. I love this exercise. Two more. Last one, real good. Reach, pull, roll down. Hug those knees, deep breath. We move on to our obliques. We're gonna do a double crunch with a cross. Let's come back up, legs at 90. Fingertips behind the head, but tuck those elbows in. I'm gonna demonstrate first. You're gonna bring the opposite elbow past the opposite knee, and then you're gonna switch sides. Ready and begin. We do eight of these and down. Cross, twist and cross. 
Working those obliques. Good. Again, don't pull on that neck. Keep those abs tight. And breathe. Good. Twist. And twist. Twist. And twist. Give me two more. Other side. One more good one each way. Up. And the other side. Excellent. Drop the head. Hug those knees. Nice deep breath. Excellent job. Now we do a two-point bridge, working our transverse abdominis again. So hug those knees and slowly roll up. Let's roll over one more time. This time we get on all fours. I want you to hold it here as I demonstrate. I'm gonna lift my opposite arm, opposite leg and hold. And then I'm gonna switch for a two count on each side. Ready and lift. So up and hold, down and hold. Switch, we're gonna do five. That was one. Working our transverse abdominis, keeping those abs real tight, holding down. Relax your neck, really reach with those fingertips and those toes. Great, give me two more. Deep breaths, really feel it nice and long through your body. Excellent, one more. Other side, point and reach with the other. Excellent job, push back on those calves, take a nice deep breath. And we finish up with the lower back. We're gonna do something called the Superman. Let's come back forward, drop down onto your stomach, bring those arms out in front of you, fingertips out in front of you. Let me demonstrate first, real simple. You're gonna lift both your hands and your feet at the same time on a two count, and then you're gonna lower back down. Ready and lift. So lift and hold down and hold. Really working those spinal erector muscles, both at the same time, up, both sides, and down. Remember to breathe. Don't hold your breath on this. You'll have a tendency to want to, especially when you come up. Keep breathing. And down. Really squeezing right above that belt line. Down. And up. You really want to work that lower back. Don't leave this out. It's really important. Almost finished. Holding up, squeezing. Last three, you're almost there. Excellent. Give me two more. Hold. And last one. Real good squeeze. Excellent. Let's push back onto our calf. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Now let's do two cat stretches just to stretch that lower back a little bit more. Come up forward on all fours. I want you to inhale, spine to the ceiling, and exhale, blow it out. Give me one more good one. Inhale, and exhale. Great job, spin back around to where we began. Excellent job, now it's on to total body circuit training. Ready for the advanced challenge? Let's get to it. Now we're gonna combine upper body and lower body together, doing some combo moves to make it that much harder, that much more effective. Are you ready, ladies? Ready Let's go. Go. All right, we're gonna begin with regular squats and side raises. So gently bend down, pick up those weights. Squat position, I'm gonna demonstrate first. You're gonna do a squat with a side raise, coming down, then coming back up, 12 reps. Ready, and let's go. Down and up. With the combo moves, there's a lot more to think about. Be careful with that form. Sitting back as if you're in a chair, bringing those arms up, working those shoulders. You're getting your glutes and your shoulders really hard. Push it, excellent. Two more, then we're gonna stretch both muscle groups. Excellent, place those weights down. Let's start with those glutes. Again, cross one leg over and sit back. 15 seconds each side. Nice, gentle stretch. We're gonna push the workout now. We're gonna really sculpt that body. Excellent, and let's go to that other glute. Cross the leg over, and sit back. Pressing down. Great, stretching through that glute. Nice deep breath. We have to stretch those shoulders as well. 15 seconds on each side. Perfect. Now let's stand up. Bring that arm across. You ready to push it, Madison? I'm ready to push it. Ready up. to push it, Tony? All right. Go. You want to look great. You have to take it up a notch. You have to keep your body guessing. This is the workout to do it. 
Great shoulder stretch right through the front of that shoulder. Now let's switch sides, bring that other arm across. We're gonna go to our quadriceps next. For this exercise, we're gonna move. We're gonna do some striding lunges, stepping forward. We're gonna hold those dumbbells. Much harder, much more effective. Really hitting those quadriceps. Excellent, let's get to it. Let's pick up those weights. Let's step back a little bit. Let me demonstrate first. We're gonna step forward, then back 12 times, then we're gonna switch sides on that beat. Ready and step. So step and back. You gotta push off hard. Keep that knee behind the toe. So step and back. Push, keep that knee behind. Keep that chest up. Work in the quadriceps. This will really blast those legs. Look great in those shorts. Two more. One more, we're gonna switch. Now, other leg, left leg. Oops. And step and back. Push, good, knee stays behind the toe. Really important, chest stays up and just hold those weights at your side. Work those legs, good. How do you feel, Tanya? We're working it. All right, <laughs> great job. Yeah. Give me one more. Excellent, and let's place those weights Ooh. down, great. Now let's stretch those quads. Again, we're gonna balance. Bring that arm out, pull up on that toe, stretch that leg, bend the supporting leg, gentle stretch, and just hold. Stretching through the front of that quad. Excellent, switch sides. Nice deep breaths too. Give your body a few seconds to recover. We're gonna switch. To plie squats, we're gonna make it a little bit harder though. We're gonna add bicep curls together, a great combo move. Working those hamstrings and those biceps together. Let's get right to it. Dumbbells, nice wide stance. Open those toes, now tuck those elbows in. I'm gonna demonstrate first. Plie squat, bicep curl, same time. Ready, and let's go. Squeeze down and up. Bicep curl, getting those arms. Getting those legs, working those hamstrings. That's our target muscle group right now for the lower body. Excellent. Give me three more. Good, last one, great squeeze. Now let's stretch those muscles, let's place them down. Let's start with the biceps. Palm to palm and press up. Stretching through the front, nice deep breath. You like these combo moves, Tanya? These are great. You love these, right? <laughs> Again, variation, key to success in changing that body. Anytime you can keep your body guessing, switch sides, press up. That's gonna bring you results. Definition of insanity, doing the same thing, expecting different results. <laughs> We're gonna mix it up here, make that body look great. Excellent. We're gonna finish up by stretching our hamstrings. One leg forward, press down on the heel, and lean forward. Hamstring behind that leg, gentle stretch. I love this part. You want to do these stretches. Really important, don't skip them. Nice deep breath, give your body time to recover, and let's switch. And just to make this one that much harder, we're gonna throw in one extra lower body exercise. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, yes. No. <laughs> you both love these. Oh, yes. We're gonna do backward lunges. We went forward, we're gonna go backwards, striding backward lunges with our dumbbells. I'll demonstrate, let's come up to our mat. You're gonna step back 12 times. You're gonna go back, then up. Are you ready? We're ready. ready. Let's begin, ready and step back. Back and up, same rules apply. Knee stays behind the toe. We're working our front leg on that beat. Down and up, chest stays up, you're breathing. Are you breathing back there? Yep, my heart's racing. Excellent. Step. Three more, you're gonna change on the fly. This is advanced. All right, one more, now switch legs. And Ooh. back, great job. Working that front leg, knee behind the toe. Chest Sounds up. Sounds like it's burning. Is it burning? It's That's burning. a good sign. That's your body changing. Back and up. It's our last lower body, almost there. Great job, two left, one more good one, and let's stretch, place those weights down. Excellent job, ladies. One more time, let's stretch those quads, arm out, balance, and hold. 
going through the front. That's it for our lower body. Now we're gonna push the upper body. We're gonna go back to our chest. And switch sides. And we're gonna take it up a notch with our chest. I think you ladies are up for it. We're up for it. You're up for it. You're up for it, Madison? I think so. <laughs> They're up for it. Great job, one last stretch. And we go down to the mat. Be careful again, slowly down. Bend those knees, roll forward. Come forward, you wait right there. I'll demonstrate a little different push up. You're gonna come up, one leg up, down. Then you're gonna switch, other leg up and down. 10 reps, ready, up and right leg down. And up, great, switch, switch. Not easy. Nope. This is advanced, Woo. you can do it. <laughs> Great job. And switch. Good. Almost there. Almost. And one more each side. <laughs> Left. Great. And push down on those knees, roll back. Beautiful. Woo. Lean back on those calves. Open those arms. Great job. And just let those hands fall. Feeling that gentle stretch through the chest. Nice deep breath. We just worked our chest. We work the opposite muscle group. That's our back. We need to do some bent over rear delt flies. Excellent. Let's come forward and roll up gently. I'm gonna grab those weights. Gently pick them up. Okay, bend at the waist again. Bend the knees. Bring those hands in, palms face each other. I'm gonna demonstrate rear delt. You're gonna come really wide and open, then back down. 12 reps. Ready and let's go. Squeeze up. Again, the weights are further away from our body. That's harder. Really focus on that form. Squeeze, then down. Squeezing those back muscles again. Try not to use momentum. Keep that curve in your lower back. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Two more. One more. Squeeze. Great. Put them down. Let's stretch the back. Elbow behind the head. And gently stretch through that back muscle. Deep breath. Great job. Again, a little more difficult, a little more results. A little better results. Switch sides. And pull again. You're feeling that stretch through the back. We use this stretch for both our triceps and our back. We just switch the focus. We have one exercise left, tricep dips. For this, we need to go to the mat. We're gonna sit down, so carefully bend those knees and just sit back. I'm gonna demonstrate first a tricep dip. So let me demonstrate, you stay there. I'm gonna pop up, hips are gonna come up a little bit. I'm gonna come down, press up, working the back of my arms. Let's pop up. Ready, 12 reps, down, squeeze. Excellent, feel it in the back of those arms. Oh, that's great. great job. Just bend, then squeeze up. You really have to focus. It's not a huge range of motion. So we're just gonna squeeze at the top. Great, push it. Ooh. Wanna change that body, you wanna look great and feel great. <laughs> Last one, very good. All right, Ooh. let's sit down. Let's spin to the middle and stretch those triceps. Behind the head, same body position. Stretch through the tricep now. Ooh, I can feel those. You feel those? Uh-huh. Nice job, Tanya. Nice I job, Madison. <laughs> Excellent work. And switch. Nice stretch. And excellent back down. Great job. And now we stretch. Let's take a nice wide stance and let's reach up and over and stretch through that upper body. Nice long stretch, stretching that spine. All those upper body muscles we just worked. Again, this is a really important part of the whole program. We warmed up, now we cool down. Let's take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Excellent, let's switch sides. Other arm up and over and reach, nice and long. Nice deep breaths. Stretching through that back, those shoulders. One more deep breath. And 
exhale. Very good. Let's bring those hands to the hips. Close those eyes and just drop that ear to your shoulder. Gently stretching that neck. Again, we keep a lot of tension in that neck, especially during those ab exercises. So this is a very important stretch. And switch sides up and over and drop that ear, other shoulder. Nice deep breath. And back to the middle. And let's stretch those shoulders. Nice big circles. Just roll them. Release that tension. All that hard work. Roll it out. Now reverse direction, another way. Nice big circles. Great job. And now let's take a little bit wider stance and stretch those legs. Let's place those fingertips on the quad and just lean from the hip, stretching through that hamstring, pressing down on this foot, feeling that stretch behind that leg. Nice deep breaths. One more deep breath. Exhale and roll it to the middle. Tiny bit wider, drop those hands. Stretching through both legs now. Just let that body fall. Relax that neck. One deep breath. And exhale. And let's rotate to that opposite leg. Press down gently, stretching behind. One more deep breath in and out. Back to the middle. Now let's stretch those adductors. Let's press down on this leg, bend this leg, push down on that foot, stretching through the inside of that thigh, inside of those thigh muscles, and hold, beautiful. Nice deep breaths again, letting that heart rate come down. One more deep breath in. And let's switch, come up, shift your weight over, and come down to that opposite leg, great. And just lean on that leg, pushing down to your opposite foot. Nice deep breaths. And let's come back to the middle and stretch those hamstrings one more time, feet together. Soften those knees, slight bend, and then just drop from the waist, gently down, and hold. Touching those toes. Deep breath in and out. Let's go nice and wide and do two deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. One more good one. Inhale and exhale. We are done. If you do this workout three times a week and combine it with the abs diet, you will see amazing results in as little as six weeks. Great job.